seeing these women who are dealing with these um, issues that it's hard to like be exposed about. Mm -hmm. I really identified with it with my personal things that I, I don't feel comfortable exposing and just seeing it really touch me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think there's a power to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I love what you guys are doing. So. And that wasn't something that we initially thought like, okay, like we're going to film this and then like we're going to like give people like the emotional power to maybe share something about themselves. Like, mm -hmm. That wasn't, mm -hmm. we didn't really discover that was the effect of like talking to these women until we already filmed all of it. <laughs> so we like really like didn't really know when we were asking the questions it really was just about like oh this is about the human hair industry and like, right, how, like right. you know it's kind of unfair to the consumer like that was mm -hmm. really what it's it really was. a concrete concept where it was yeah like, you're gonna see the hair go from India to women who need it yeah Ta -da. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we realized a lot more to it. <laughs> like yeah. I was saying like because we didn't go into it maybe because we're totally naive and ignorant about how this works but right. we, we didn't really know we didn't go in prescribing what we wanted it to do for yeah. me, yeah. and so then when we got to the point where, I think it was like a year ago, mm -hmm. and we really dedicated ourselves to the doc to be like, okay, we're gonna, it's gonna be our main focus. Yeah. We were like, what is this story again? Yeah. And we were like, oh, it's identity. It's uh -huh. like yeah. who you are and what it means to lose a piece of yourself mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. losing your hair is losing a piece of your identity. And that's something everybody can relate to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we, when we cracked the nut, we were like, "Is this right?" Like, yeah. yeah. This and right? there is an audience for it. Yeah. You right. know, like I, yeah. you know, like I said about myself, and I don't know if it's like just women. Even like I, I don't know if you've tested it on the male audience, but yeah. I, I feel like women would probably identify with it more. Um, but I would. I've talked to a couple, like the couple of preview events we've had. I've had, you know, girlfriends of mine bring their boyfriends. Oh, okay. Just sort of like forcing them to come. Yeah. <laughs> and then having them afterwards come and tell me like, oh, my boyfriend like isn't into this kind of stuff, but he watched it and like he read wow. it resonated with him and mm -hmm. like he was excited about it. Oh, afterwards. that's great. So yeah. it really, it's amazing how universal it is. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So it, it's gonna be, it's the tricky part of like trying to create that message with yeah. the image that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But I think people get it for the most part. Uh -huh. Like, you know, uh -huh. the more we talk to people, you know, we've had people say, I've, I resonate it on a level, I resonate with it on a level where, you know, I'm gay and like, I feel this, or I'm yeah. African American and I feel this, mm -hmm. or I'm overweight and I feel this. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. like all those emotions are just, we all have it. Mm -hmm. It's just hair is a really easy yeah. sort of doorway to open it. Yeah. To yeah. Talk and just to know you're not alone. Yeah. Like yeah. even, you know, if it transfers, you know, like, oh, I deal with being gay or whatever. And, but I feel like connected to these women who come out because, mm -hmm. you know, they're so brave. Yeah. You know, and that really encourages like me or other people to really be authentic. Right. You know, and be yeah. their real selves. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think that's awesome. 